Oh no, the Wulu died. I need to release it. Oh wait, it's not mine. It's not mine. <laughs> Hop, you better release that. Otherwise you're cheating. You're you're cheating a Nuzlocke. Is that move? Ah! 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 How's it going everyone and welcome to episode 5 of my Pokemon Sword and Shield Surprise Up Today we're going to be carrying on with this game and of course uh, we have beaten two gym leaders so far. We've beaten Nessa and Milo. We're on our way to meet Kabu in Gallimine 2 so let's get straight over to that. If you've missed episode 4 or any of the previous episodes go down in the description below. Top of the top of the description is a link to the playlist where you can check out every single episode in this series so far. And if you're watching this after the series is finished, you can watch the entire series there. Uh, so I definitely recommend you go and check that out. And of course, if you, if you haven't checked out episode 4 yet, and you missed episode 4, click the icon above and it will take you straight over to episode 4 before you watch this one. So, moving on, we have to go and find Kabu in Gallimine 2. We've got a decent team. I'm quite proud of this team, honestly. We've got Whirlipede, Eldegoss, a Dreadnought, a Ryolu, a Raboot, and a Stunfisk. So... Yeah, it's a decent team. We've got a good, really good team going here. So uh, let's uh, let's go straight over and battle a few people. We've got our encounter in here already, so we don't need to do that. Uh, and before I do anything, just to make sure uh, he, he doesn't die, I'm going to heal up my Dreadnought because I just saw that he was low on health. Uh, and who's first in the list as well? Who have we got up there? Whirlipede. Um, well, I mean, he's my strongest Pokemon at the minute, I suppose. Might do some training in this episode. I'm not sure. I believe the level cap is now level 40, so I'm kind of open now to get all the way up to level 40 if I want. Uh, but yeah, let's just let's just get straight into it, battle a load of people, and do some leveling. Um, I don't know. This, this, this series is going really well, though. It's weird to think that I'm already on episode 5, and uh, I've not died yet. I've only lost one Pokemon, and that was uh, a, a very good sacrifice, because if I hadn't done that, uh, well, there wouldn't be an episode 5. So, uh, Carcol, I'm going to switch out. He's part fire type. We'll go out with my Dreadnought. And hopefully he doesn't use a ground type move on me. I don't think he can. I don't think he has any ground types. Right, let's grab this item. What we got here? Three Dust Balls. I think what I might also do, because obviously I want to train up my, uh, my Dreadnought a little bit. And possibly, I mean, I'm going up against fire type, so possibly... Uh, Stunfist could do with some levels as well. Uh, I mean, what moves you got? I haven't looked. Mudshot is the only ground type move, but I suppose that's that's something else to use against fire types. The only problem is your part steel type. That's the only thing that's worrying me a little bit. Uh, so my only real pro problem is, um, well, just leveling up my Dreadnought. I should be all right with Dreadnought. Uh, but I'm not going to rely on him, so I might level up my Stunfisk as a backup. So... Two hours later. Here they are. Hello, Team Yell. You're making a ruckus again, are you? Stop talking like you're, you know, big mans. Just remember you have no necks. Linoon and Thievul. Easy. Do I even have to try? I don't even have to try. Come on, then. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to switch and go with, uh, go with my Ryolu. I think Ryolu is probably a slightly better Pokemon here. Yeah, look at you. Take him on. That was cute. Oh no, the Wulu died. I need to release it. Oh wait, it's not mine. It's not mine. Ha <laughs> Hop, you better release that. Otherwise you're cheating. You're you're cheating a Nuzlocke. 
Go on, Thwacky. Finish him with double hit. Yeah, add some of that. Lovely. Cool. We got we 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 we, we got through that very easily. Didn't even have to struggle. Hey, my guy just called me a mug. No, I'm not having that. Hey, get your ass back here. You called me a mug. You're a mug. Right, let's go and find Kabu now. Uh, I think just to be on the safe side, I will heal up. Um, oh, no. He healed them all for me. Oh, thank you, Hop. You're very nice. Ah, can I get fuck off? Ah! <laughs> like I was having none of that. He was, you fucking what? You what? He just said, like, he looks at me funny. Oh, you got a drill, but that's cute. Oh, that's a shame. It's got to die. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I was like. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh no. <laughs> now it's dead. Now it's dead, come on. Lovely world of feed leveled up. An onyx. Alright. To be honest, I would love to get an onyx during this run. Because to get a Steelix in this ser in this this playthrough would be unbelievable. Steelix is such a tank, and I don't think besides um, Dreadnought, we haven't actually got any other any other rock types. So uh, we could do with another backup rock type, honestly. We could do with a backup rock type. So here we go, here we go, here we go. This is going to be helpful. Here we go. Oh, look at you, Scarlet P. You are going to... I swear to God, you're coming with me through the whole series. You're going all the way to the end with me. You're going all through to the end with me. 100%. That that fucker is, 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 is tanky. He can take any hit. No one can get past him. Santoon. It's a shame I can't use TMs. Oh, no. Can, can I use TMs? I don't actually know if you can use TMs in Nuzlocke. So I don't know if it, if it works like that. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. I won't use one this episode. Let me know in the comments below if I can. Here we go. Where's Kabu? I like. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I think Kabu is probably up there, one of my favourite gym leaders from Sword and Shield. I just think his personality is really, it's really bold, and I like that about him. I do like that about Kabu, if I'm honest. Like, he's very, very bold and very, uh, you know, just a very iconic uh, gym leader. So when we get out of this place, we can get our next encounter, which is going to be amazing. Can't wait to get my next encounter. Can't wait to see what we get. Uh, who knows? We might get something good. We might get something good. Like I said, I'd love an Onyx. I know it's kind of random, but I would love to get an Onyx. Onyx. I don't believe I've got anything here. No, I haven't. I haven't got anything here yet. So, hopefully I haven't got battling yet. All right, no, I don't. Cool. Right. So, let's catch our Pokemon on this route. You know what? Let's go for a, let's go for a random encounter like in, in the grass. Let's go for a random encounter in the grass. Ah, oh, it's a little um, pawn yard. There's some pawn in the yard. And YouTube can't take me down for that because I'm talking about P-A-W-N, not P-O. Right, so... Oh, I can't remember what Typhon he is, but I'm going to use... I'm going to use a weaker move and hopefully don't take him out. So I'll use Water Gun and see what that does. Don't kill him. Alright, it does half damage, so... I might have no other choice but to throw a Pokeball at him now, so... I'm gonna throw a... I'm gonna throw at him a... I'm gonna throw a Dusk Ball. 
That, that, that should that should get him. That should get him. One, two, three. Boom! Lovely. Right. Then we'll just get straight to trading this guy because I would love to see if we can get some form of uh, ground type or a water, another water type will be fantastic against Kabu. Uh, I don't know. What can we get? What can we get? Let's let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. See what we can get. No, I don't want to give a nickname. You can go to the box. See you later, sir. And let's trade our Pokemon. Let's see what we get from this uh, Ponyard. This one's taking an awful long while. There we go. Trade complete. Let's see what we got. Please be something good. Nico, send me something nice, please. Enjoy the pool yard as well. If you're watching this, which you probably won't be, but hey. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. I think that's a, a Chinese. Is that Chinese writing? It looks like Chinese writing. Hey, the Chinese Dracovish. Okay, then. Um, I, I don't know how to react to this. And it's only level 10 as well. Okay, then. Uh, oh, okay, then. Uh, okay. A dragon type on the team as well would be Fucking amazing. I'm trying to think because he's only level 10. He's only level 10. And I can't, so which means I can't use him yet. I can't use him yet. He's level 10, and then that means I'll have to do some grind. You know what? You know what? I feel like I feel like it should be it should be a good idea if I train him up after the gym battle. I've got uh Dreadnor, which is amazing. Actually, what I could possibly do, you know what? I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a little bit of a training session here. So uh I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'll battle this guy first. I'll battle these guys till I get to the town. And then I will go back to the wild area and do some raid battles. Now, the way the raid battles are going to work, I'll explain it now whilst I'm doing this battle. So the way ra raid battles are going to work in this uh, playthrough is if we lose the raid. So if a Pokemon dies, that's fine. I, I won't have to release it. If, if, the, if we lose the raid, uh, then I have to release it. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, the way, that's the way I'm going to go about it. So yeah, as I said, if, uh, if we lose... The raid all together and we get kicked out of the den then that is when i will release my pokemon if my pokemon dies however during that raid then i'll just okay then i'll uh, then i'll just leave it basically i'll, I'll just uh, i'll leave it it'll be fine uh let's just use poison sting should be able to easily take him out pew bye yampa so yeah that's the way i'm gonna do it so we're going to do some raid battles I will speed it up. Uh, if anything eventful happens, then I will I'll show that. But I will be speeding it up from when I've beaten all these people. So you're saying that a swoop back? Nah, that's fine. That is more than fine. I can't remember what type he is. I think he's psychic, psychic flying, or psychic poison, something like that. Well, I use roll out anyway. It's flying type. Lovely. Confusion, that's fine. That's fine. Didn't do anything. Scholar Pete can take a hit. Scholar Pete can take a hit. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. Right, so we've done a few raids. Let's see exactly how many levels we can get our Pokemon to go up. I'm actually going to put 
the Dracovish in as well. I feel like I feel like he'd be really good on the team. So uh, let's move him and put him in the place of. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put him in the place of Elder Goss for now because I feel like Elder Goss isn't gonna be as much help for a little while. So I'll leave Elder Goss, Elder Goss out and we'll try and level up that Dracovish a little bit. Uh, we've, got, we've done a few raids. We've got quite a few uh, extra small, small and medium candies and some Dynamax candy and a rare candy. We've got quite a few. We should we should be fine. So let's give some small candies to him. Try and get him up a little bit. Level 20. All right, we're getting there. You'll learn Brutal Swing. Uh, let's give him some extra small ones as well. That only takes you up one level. That is very, very sad. Oh, you want to learn Ancient Power. That's going to be really helpful against... Um, uh, what's his face? Kabu? Something like that. I can't remember his name. Uh, we'll get rid of Protect. I will, I will not use Protect. So, I refuse to use re Protect in any situation. Uh, let's then use Medium Candies on him. Uh, let's just give him two. 24. We're getting there. We're getting there. We'll use a Rare Candy on him as well. Although, is it in my Pokemon ready to evolve yet? Um, you're nearly ready to evolve. So if I remember rightly, Kabu's team uh, is usually about mid 20s something like that. I did have a quick look it up just a second ago, and it shows that his team is, in fact, level 25s, and then his uh, iconic Pokemon, which is the Center Scorch, is level 27. So I think I've got a decent team uh, going at the minute. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about my Dracovish for now, but I might just do some training at some point after this gym battle. I think, though, level 31 should be fine to take on... Um, to, take, to take on Center Scorch. There's not a lot Center Scorch can do. I don't think he knows a Grass-type move, so I, I should be okay. But if he does, my Dreadnought is going to get demolished. So uh, that's something I need to take, uh, take into mind. Uh, so I'm going to take the risk and just start it now and see what we can do. Uh, you won't be able to challenge Kabu till the morning. Oh, okay. I've got to go to the buddy drop-in. That's a pain in the arse, isn't it? Why have I got to do that? Kabu, get your arse out of here, you wuss. Oh, wait, i got to battle you now. I forgot I had to battle you. I forgot I had to battle you. I think i got to battle you. Oh, hello. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Come on in. Um, what's your face? Marnie. When I first saw her in the trailer, I thought I, I thought her name was Marini. I kept calling her Marini. Right, Krogunk to start off. Cool. What level is your team looking at? Level 20. If it's early, tw like low 20s, I should be fine. 24? Yes. I should be more than fine then. I should be fine. Although, you're going to use a fighting type move and that might kill me. So, I'm a little bit scared now. Oh, shit. No. No, no, no. Not revenge. Oh my god, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't no, I'm switching out. 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 I have nothing that's super effective against our team. I have nothing that's good against our team. I suppose I'll have to just go in with uh with with, with my with my Rabu. I, I don't know what else I can do. Okay, I think I am a little now I'm thinking about it, I might be a little bit underleveled. I might be a little bit underleveled to take on um, Kabu, if I'm honest. I think I'm a little bit too underleveled, so I might actually have to do a little bit more training beforehand. Uh, maybe do a load more raid battles or something. I don't know. Maybe get some some XL can. Uh, get, well, I don't think I get any XL candies, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Right, you're sending out a Scraggy, which is actually no, no, I'll stick. I'll stick. I should be fine. It's a scraggy. Na 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 na. Lovely. Oh, is this gonna kill him or is it gonna leave him on one HP? It looked like he was gonna do more than that when I actually was fighting him. When I was using double kick, it looked like I was gonna do more. So let's finish you off with a flame charge. Boom. And then she sends out uh, more Pico. 
actually, wait, you're part electric. Hey, why didn't I even think of this? Why didn't I think of this? Stunfisk. Of course. She won't be able to do much against me now. Besides that. Which does nothing. Oh no! It's pissed! Oh, it bit me again. Ouch, Charlie. O Ouch, Charlie. Stop biting me! Was that speed? Yeah, speed. Iron Defense? Nah, we don't really need Iron Defense, do we? Iron Defense ain't going to do much, so I will I will leave it for now. Yay, she healed my Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you, Marnie. You're very sweet. I still think that Marnie is like that anime girl that everyone fancies but can't get. That's what she reminds me of. I've got Kabu's lead card. That's going to be so helpful. And two burn heals. Oh, is that right? That's amazing. Oh... So I think I am a little bit underleveled, if I'm honest. So you know what? I think just to be safe, I might end this episode off. Uh, I might end this episode off here because I think I am slightly underleveled to be able to take on uh, take on Kabu. So what I'm going to do is go and do some training, and then come back, uh, come back and, and battle him in the next episode. So um, yeah, I, I think. Hold on, wait. Have I got a battle hop first? No, I don't. Okay, yeah. So with that, everyone, I really appreciate you watching this episode. It's a much shorter episode than episodes one to four. To apologise for that, I didn't realise I'd be massively underleveled, uh, and I know my ass is going to get kicked because I know the Scent Scorch can have uh, max overgrowth. I remember it doing that in raid battles, so I'm not going to take that risk. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do some training in the next next episode, and um, yeah, see how it all goes. So yeah, with that, everyone, I've been Nate. You've been great, and I'll see you in the next one.